Dear students, in this video, I am going to discuss uh, model question paper issued by the PU board for the year 2022-23. So, let us see the first question. The number of significant figures in 0 0.00230 is. Now, if we have a significant figure, either we have to follow the rule or we have to represent in scientific notation. Okay, this number now scientific notation is 2.30 into 10 raise to minus 3 and the scientific notation is now the number na round up. Round up the scientific notation it will become 2.30 into 10 raise to minus 3. So by looking at this, we can decide the significant figures that is 2, 1, 2, 3. In the given number, the significant figures are 3. So option B is the right answer. Next, the slope of Vt graph gives us, I mean, slope on the it is the ratio of change along y axis to the change along x axis. So, we have to consider the dependent quantities along y axis and the independent quantities along x axis. In the given question, we can see the slope of Vt graph. So, the slope of Vt graph gives us acceleration because V divided by T gives us acceleration. So, that we can mark D as the correct answer. Now, the direction of centripetal acceleration of a particle in circular motion. Whenever the body moves in the circular path, it possesses two types of acceleration. One is centripetal acceleration and tangential acceleration. Centripetal acceleration is always directed towards the center, whereas the tangential acceleration is directed along the tangent. So, the correct option is, the direction of centripetal acceleration is towards the center of the circle. So, option A is the right answer. So, moving to the next question, when a moving bus suddenly stops, a passenger fall, passenger on it falls in the forward direction. This is due to, so we know that this is due to inertia of motion. But here options, here to put it there, B, Mathe, C, here to put inertia of motion, inertia of motion, put it there, new B, Bardo, put it correct, sick to the marks, so C, Bardo, put it correct, marks, sick to the, a kandre, here to options, one day I give away, so the correct option is inertia of motion, either B or C. Okay. If the if the bus starts suddenly, then the body falls backward. That is due to the inertia of rest. So for this, we can write B as the right option or C as the right option. Actually, C option yena abekito under inertia of direction ta abekito by mistake ado inertia of motion ta gida. So B na dro agbo do, C na dro agbo do. Both are correct. Now, now one kilowatt hour is equal to one kilowatt hour is the commercial unit of electrical energy. So, we know that the 1 kilowatt hour is the electrical energy consumed in 1 hour at the rate of 1000 joule per second. Suppose if you write 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 1 kilowatt into 1 hour, then when you simplify 1 kilowatt is 10 to the power of 3 joule per second and 1 hour, in 1 hour how many seconds are there? 3600. So, when you simplify, you will get 3.6 into 10 to 6 joule. We know that 3.6 into 10 to 6 joule is considered as 1 unit. 1 unit under 3.6 into 10 to 6 agathe. 36 lakh joule agathe, one unit agathe. So, here uh, we can write 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 into 10 to 6. So, option B is the right answer. Next, uh, dimension formula for torque is same as that of. We know that torque is nothing but the force into the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation. So, the dimension formula for this is m1 L square t power minus 2. Here force into perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation. So, we can write m1 L2 t power minus 2 as well as the work is equal to force into displacement fx cos theta. So, that we can write dimensional formula is m1 L2 t power minus 2. In the same way, moment of energy is nothing but it is the product of mass and square of the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation. So, that we can write dimension formula as m1 L square t power 0 that is mr square. So, this we can write mr square and here angular momentum is mr square mvr that is a linear momentum into radius. So, that the dimension formula is m1 l square t power minus 1 whereas the radius of variation, radius of variation is the perpendicular distance. So, we can write 
m not l power on t power so here given question is dimensional formula for torque is same as that of work so work and torque both are having the same dimensional formulas okay. moving to the next question that is geostationary satellites are used for the purpose of we know that geostationary satellites are used for the purpose of uh, telecommunication and uh, remote sensing meteor meteorology and environmental studies for all these we are using polar satellites so the correct option is d so moving to the next question that is compressibility is the reciprocal of Young's. We know that Young's modulus is nothing but stress divided by strain. Whereas the Seer modulus, that is the rigidity modulus, is nothing but tangential stress divided by tangential strain. And the bulk modulus is nothing but the bulk stress divided by bulk strain. And the reciprocal of this bulk modulus is also called as compressibility. And we know that Poisson's ratio is the ratio between the lateral strain divided by longitudinal strain. So the correct option is C. Compressibility is the reciprocal of bulk modulus. S yes, unit of surface tension is we know that the surface tension is nothing but force divided by length. That is force divided by length. So that Newton per meter is the S yes, unit. That is Newton per meter. So option C is the right answer. And B is also unit of surface tension. B as well as C. Both are the unit of surface because we know that newton per meter square one then note the one options now newton per meter square and newton and an force on the work within m square the area unit of area it is so f dot by a is nothing but pressure this is the unit of pressure okay newton whereas joule per meter square here joule is the s unit of energy and meter square is the s unit of area so that e dot by a is nothing but surface energy we can prove that surface energy is nothing but surface tension here we can see that joule can be written as uh, joule can be written as you know that newton meter and divided by meter square so if we cancel this we will get again newton meter only so that this newton meter is the unit of surface tension so that we can write joule per meter square as well as newton meter both are same so either you can write b or c and third option that is newton per meter that is equals to force divided by l that is nothing but surface tension so next up kg per cubic meter kg is the sine unit of mass and meter cube is the sine unit of volume so kg divided by meter square is gives us density so the correct options are b or c both are correct options okay next let me go for next question that is uh, sea breeze is the connect convective movement of air from sea towards the land during the daytime the convective movement of air during from land towards sea during daytime here you must know the differences between a land breeze and sea breeze you know that land breeze occurs at night time whereas sea breeze occurs daytime so cool air sink on land whereas warm air expand and rise on land so that the correct option is for this one is the connective moment of air from sea towards the land during the daytime so because you know that the specific heat capacity of the water is very very high so that it will take more time to get heated up so that during daytime the sea breeze will occur Whereas at the time of night, it will cool very slowly because of high specific heat capacity, it will cool very slow so that at the time of night, we will get land breeze. Okay. So, so, correct option is A. So, let me move to the next question that is uh, the lowest possible temperature is We know that it is minus 273.15 degree Celsius and which is not possible to achieve. We know that. So, minus 273.15 is the lowest possible temperature next the mathematical statement of uh, the first law of thermodynamics is given by we know that the energy supplied to the system that heat energy supplied to the system is used in two ways that is some part of the energy is used to increase the internal energy of the system and some part of the energy is used to do the external work so the option b is the right answer so you can see any type of the formats as given so these are all formats showing the first law of thermodynamics so correct option is b delta q equals to delta u plus delta w delta q is the amount of energy supplied to the system delta u is some amount of energy is increased the internal energy and uh, delta w is the external work done by the system next the molar specific heat at constant pressure for monoatomic molecule is we know that from the mayer equation cp minus cv cp minus cv is equals to 
R. This is my air equation. So actually, we need to find out specific heat at constant pressure. Make Cp as a subject formal here. So Cp equals to R minus Cv. So we know that Cv is nothing but F divided by 2 into R. And where F is the degree of freedom of the uh, monoatomic gas molecule. So it may be monoatomic or diatomic or triatomic, whatever it may be. But in the question, they are given monoatomic. For monoatomic gas molecule, we have degree of freedom 3. So if you substitute here R minus 3 by 2 into R, so we will get that is a 5R by 2. So option C is the right answer. Okay. Suppose if it is diatomic gas molecule, then you have to substitute here 5. Okay, if it is triatomic, we have to substitute a 6, then you will get the molar specific heat capacity at constant pressure for respective molecule. Okay, so moving to the next question that is among the following, which is an example for a motion which is periodic but not oscillatory. Are the periodic agarbekum but oscillatory agarbodhan theater? So here motion of a simple pendulum which is periodic motion as well as oscillatory motion. Okay, periodic which repeats after a certain interval of time as well as it returns or it changes its path at it, it changes its direction at the mean portion so that it is oscillatory as well as periodic motion in the same way motion of a mass attached to the spring placed on you know that loaded spring so is also it is posing or it is executing periodic as well as oscillatory motion and then uh, so uniform motion of a car on a straight road this is a, a completely different that is a, it represents the rectilinear motion this is a rectilinear Whereas motion of the earth around the sun. So this is periodic but not oscillatory motion because it repeats its motion after a regular interval of time but it will not take turn at its mean position or it will not change its direction at any time. So that this is an example for periodic motion but not oscillatory. So option D is the right answer for this question. Next in case of third harmonic of a normal mode of an air column which is open at one end and closed at the other end or so here we know that here we can see the third harmonic. For third harmonic, we have to count here the how many number of nodes are here? Two nodes and two antinodes. So that there are two nodes and two antinodes are present in the third harmonic of the normal mode of air column in the closed pipe. So that option B is the right answer. Okay. Moving to the next question that is fill in the blanks. Here we can see the very easiest questions when the total external force acting on an isolated system is zero then velocity of the body will be constant when the velocity is constant the momentum is also constant so the linear momentum is the right answer for this when a total external force acting on an isolated system is zero the linear momentum of the system remains constant as the height of the as the height from the surface of the earth it is a surface of the earth increases the value of acceleration due to gravity what happens for the acceleration due to gravity decreases in the same way pressure inside a fluid as the depth increases what happens there will be increase in the pressure so pressure inside a fluid increases with depth whenever the depth increases pressure increases the average distance of a average distance a molecule can travel without colliding is called as mean free path and According to Laplace, the sound propagation is adiabatic, whereas according to Newton, the sound propagation is isothermal. But here they have given Laplace. According to Laplace, the sound propagation is adiabatic process. Okay. So let me continue the B part in my next video. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thank you.